Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Hey, Tea Sippers. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. And I have two special guests in the house with me today. Um, they are two people from the Free Britney movement. As you guys know, I've been covering the whole Britney Spears situation for close to two years on YouTube. And just, you know, feeling really bad for everything that she's going on. And I wanted to reach out to two people that are heavily involved in that movement. And one of those people is Kevin and the other person is Leanne. So if you guys could just introduce yourself to my audience and let us know, like, you know, how you guys came about getting involved with the Free Britney movement. Thanks so much for having us, T. Um, my name's Kevin Wu, and I've been a Britney fan since the very beginning of her career. So I've always followed her ups and downs and really just connected with her journey as a person. So when she was placed under conservatorship in 2008, um, I was a little suspicious because um, any Britney fan can tell you that Britney does not have a good relationship with her dad. So we were questioning why um, it was her dad who took over her life, took over, you know, all of her personal decisions and her money. But at the time, you know, we were young fans and we really just ac accepted the narrative that the team put out that this conservatorship was a good thing for her. Um, fast forward to 2019, that's when the podcast Britney's Graham released the voicemail that really detailed that this conservatorship was way more controlling than we thought. And that's when I got involved with the Free Britney movement. That's when I started going to the protests outside Stanley Moss Courthouse. That's where Britney's court hearings um, were held. And as we learned just um, these past few weeks, um, you know, Britney finally uh, was given the opportunity to speak out in court and confirmed a lot of the suspicions that we in the movement had. Exactly. And Leanne, if you want to go ahead and tell how you got it. Sure, of course. Similar to Kevin, I've been a Britney fan since the very beginning. Uh, you know, always looked up to her as a young girl and was always very inspired by her, followed her career. And also, you know, her, her personal life, she was always just so personable and, and goofy and relatable. And I really loved that about her. And like a lot of fans, was suspicious when this conservatorship came to be, just with the connection with her father, didn't make a lot of sense because, he, you know, they don't have a close relationship. So kind of kept a watchful eye on this all these years and always felt like something was off and jumped really kind of headfirst into the movement and being more actively involved in 2020. I was outraged about other things going on in the world, in our country and other causes I stand up for. I, I decided this is a bigger issue than just Britney at this point. And we need to raise awareness about not only Britney's case, but conservatorship abuse in general. So um, I attended a rally in LA. I met Kevin and uh, we, we linked up and just kind of, it all snowballed from there. That was about a year ago. And um, it, it feels like it's been 10 years and also 10 days. It, you know, it's the concept mm -hmm. of time in this movement is, is gone, but we're just really grateful for the point that we're at right now. We finally got to hear from Brittany directly. And that's a big part of what this movement is about is letting Brittany have her own voice. Exactly. And that's the part I think that shocked a lot of us is once the details came out. So I want to go ahead and kind of play this clip about um, what they're saying in the news. This was about two weeks, two, three weeks ago um, when the whole Britney thing came out, really snowballed and went mainstream. So I'm going to go ahead and play that really quick quick here for you guys. It was a free Britney frenzy at the courthouse and boyfriend Sam Asgari even posted himself wearing a free Britney t-shirt this morning. This all as Britney spoke to the judge about her 13 year conservatorship. Now Britney, woo, completely sounded off. Legal expert Lonnie Coombs is there. Lonnie. Kit, this was explosive. Right off the bat, the attorneys were saying, look, if she's gonna start talking about the kids or the medical stuff, we wanna seal everything up and kick everybody out of the courtroom. And all of a sudden, you heard a voice interrupt all the attorneys. It was Brittany, and she was saying, I want this open, I want my freedom. She went after everyone. She went after Jamie. She said that her father loved to be in control. 
she likened what he's been doing to her like sex trafficking. She said that every time she's been saying she's happy and okay, it's been a lie in the past and she wants everyone to know. She wants this conservatorship over. She's been researching how to terminate them and she said that she wants to be able to end this conservatorship without being evaluated anymore. All right, so you guys just heard that clip. And I can tell you from me just being a fan and finally hearing Britney's voice, because for a while it's like, you know, I might not be as like a big a fan as you guys are, but you know, we grew up on Britney, right? You know, just mm -hmm. watching her journey through like, you know, being a teenager and then into adulthood, being a mother, me and her were pregnant at the same time. Um, so that's like my pregnancy twin. <laughs> <laughs> child. So that's one thing that that's what made me really follow up on her when she got pregnant because we're both pregnant at the same time. But um, you know when so I so you know her, what she was going through and you know she oh, had to yeah. do it with like all the paparazzi chasing yep. her. Yeah, I couldn't even imagine having a new baby and everybody's in your face and there's lights and I remember when she almost dropped the baby and they try to say that she was unfit and it's like anybody would be unfit if there's 50 million paparazzis in your face flashing light bulbs and you're just trying to protect your child. You know, so I remember exactly. watching that back in like 20, you know, sorry, 2005, 2006, 2007. It was just heartbreaking to see like just how much pressure was on this woman. And, you know, what amazed me is when she finally found her voice. It was just amazing to hear her because so many times we just see like these kind of quirky videos on Instagram with her dancing and her acting kind of wild. But everything about her was very articulate. She was all there. You know, she knew what she wanted. And for so long, they made it seem like she was crazy and kind of lethargic. And, you know, she wasn't all there. That was not a woman who was not all there. When she spoke, you felt like she just wanted to get it off. You know, it was like almost 13 years of just censorship that she wanted to get off her chest. So you guys told me that you all were at the courthouse. How did you guys feel that day when you guys finally heard Britney Spears come out and just, you know, spill everything? Oh, it was such a mix of emotions because it was just so heartbreaking to hear what everything that she had gone through. Um, but at the same time, we we're so proud of her for being brave enough to talk about it. And also it felt very um, vindicate, vindicating for the Free Britney movement because we had been called conspiracy theorists for so long. And she just confirmed that, you know, so many of our suspicions were true. And it really um, left me hopeful that this will finally um, kick things off to um, for for change for her, uh, that this we're on the road to her freedom, finally. Definitely. It, it certainly was, I think, better than I could have personally ever expected. You know, I hoped and prayed that she was able to say everything she wanted to say unfiltered. I was hoping no one would interrupt her and to hear it happen. You know, it, it I think it was just super vindicating, as Kevin said very upsetting to hear directly from Britney's mouth because a lot of the things she talked about, unfortunately, as fans, we've we've known, we've heard rumors of these things and it was our biggest fear. So to have them confirmed, while it was validating, it was it was really hard to hear. It was an emotional day. You know, for 23 plus minutes, we sat there and listened outside the courthouse, you know, on the, to the audio. And it was um, just a roller coaster. And I, uh, to be honest with you, it's been a couple of weeks and I feel like I'm still processing it because um, it was just such a big moment for Brittany and for this movement. Yeah. And I think that's what I really liked about it, because like Kevin said, for so long, because, you know, if you know anything about my brand, I'm a slight conspiracy theorist. You know, <laughs> I like to look at things deeper. And so many times people will call you a conspiracy theorist, but in a dismissive way, like, oh, they're just a bunch of crazy fans. Oh, mm -hmm. they're just obsessed. They need a life. But it's almost like this validated you guys that everything you guys had been saying is true and she confirmed this that it wasn't just suspicion it wasn't overzealous fans it wasn't people who need to get a life it was people who truly cared about her and i believe you guys' movement is what gave her the strength to finally come out and speak so kudos to you guys for just you know letting her know even when she couldn't speak for herself being her voice and i think you guys and everybody involved in this movement should be extremely proud because you know, even listening to that as somebody who grew up, you know, watching Britney from, you know, the Mickey Mouse Club and watching her, Justin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera, you know, blow up in the in the late 90s. 
And to hear her say that she equates this conservatorship to sex trafficking, that was deep. That was Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.